Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about why I think we could be looking at a five to $10 XRP in the end of the year, 2021. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. And basically, to jump into it, like I said in the last video that I made, I think once the SEC Ripple shenanigans lawsuit is over, um, the price might go up a little bit because as you know right now, you can kind of only buy it on like Bitmark, Clever.io, and Uphold, and whatever other sketchy exchanges are out there. So once the trading of XRP is unsuspended, you're going to be able to find it again on Coinbase, Binance, Crypto.com, and Robinhood. So all those people who haven't been able to buy into XRP will then be able to buy into XRP again. And another thing I think a lot of people miss is that there are 13 million inexperienced Robinhood users out there, and some of them might be looking to buy into crypto. And if you have Robinhood right now, if you go on your app, you'd know that there are only seven cryptos for you to buy right now. You can only buy seven on Robinhood. They are Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Doge. And soon, hopefully XRP, which will make it a grand total of eight. And so if you go on Robinhood right now and you go to the crypto tab, you can't, like XRP doesn't pop up. You can search for it and you can see the stats on it or whatever information you wanna see on it, but you cannot buy it on Robinhood. So now I'm gonna include XRP in this. Of those eight, only three of them are under $200. The first one is Ethereum Classic, which is a $15 and then possibly XRP, hopefully soon, right? Um, that's gonna be 50 cents. And then Dogecoin is five cents. So really, to normal working class people, only three of those are affordable and attainable. Um, and also, if you don't really know how cryptocurrency works, you might be under the impression that, you know, if you see a coin that's super cheap, it's gonna skyrocket to 60 grand, just like Bitcoin did. So they're probably gonna be buying with quantity versus quality in mind. So instead of buying one $200 coin, they're gonna buy $200 worth of coins, um, which in their minds, and hopefully it does, is gonna make them a millionaire. And again, if you're not familiar with crypto, you might not have the knowledge of max supply, circulating supply, scarcity, use cases, and all of that stuff, including the fact that there are 20 XRP held in unsuspendable balance per wallet address for security reasons. So really, I don't think a five to $10 XRP is that far-fetched. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think XRP is going to hit by the end of the year? Um, don't forget to check out my description box for referral links. I have Robinhood one down there if you're interested. Um, sign up. Get yourself a free stock. All right, guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.